Woo! Hey guys, it's Coop from Garage and Reviews, and today we are going to be talking about the best rowing machines. Rowing machines are very popular among home gyms. A lot of reason because they require little maintenance. The price is really good. It's full body workout, and you can get dang conditioned on them. There are a lot of options. We're gonna run through all of them. We've done a breakdown on the best smart rowers. If you'd like to see that, you can check it out. There are a lot of reasons to buy rowers. I think the biggest one though is the amount of conditioning you can get out of it, the amount of value you can get out of it for the price. There's a reason that some of these rowers are in CrossFit gyms that just get beat to crap in crazy environments and last a long time. So we'll talk about some of those, but first I wanna talk about the cheap rowers. Sam, bring out the cheap rowers. <laughs> Sam. Roll it out, dude. Oh, I thought you said throw out the cheap rowers. Okay, if you're new here and you haven't seen us do our roundups, we like to do them exhaustively. So we basically bring in every product within the category that we think has some semblance of value. And we compare them to each other. That's all the way to the very expensive, like some of these rowers we have in here are three, four, five grand, all the way down to very cheap ones we see on Amazon. What we're trying to do is meet people at their budget. So yes, yeah, something that costs a lot more may be better for some people, but in reality, there may be some people that are just really low budget and just wanna get moving. And so we wanna provide in-depth reviews on those. These are the cheapest rowers that are out there. So these you'll find on Amazon, very cheap. They are very similar. One uses air, one uses magnets. These are the problems you find with these types of rowers. And I'm okay recommending these to people that understand what you get for them. And what you get for them is you get something that you can learn to row with and you can also decide if rowing is something you actually wanna do. And I think that's an okay thing. And I would definitely recommend that over financing a more expensive machine. But the problem with these is the resistance level and the durability on them is quite low. So this one uses magnets. I'm fine with a magnetic rower at the upper end. The lower end, they end up just skipping around. They don't have the same resistance profile as air. Honestly, it feels really light. You can adjust the resistance, just not the same thing. They're just not quite the same type or quality of machine as you would find from some of our others. And then you have something over here like an air rower. This one may be air, but it's not gonna have the same resistance profile as something like a Concept 2 or a thing like that. Now, I don't wanna just absolute crap on this stuff because I understand there's some people that are looking for machines like this at the price point. So amongst the cheap rowers, if you're looking for an air one, it'd be the Stamina Air Rower. If you're looking for a magnetic one, it's gonna be that Sunny Health and Fitness. They're both pretty darn cheap and they're a great way to get into decide if you actually wanna row. Now I'm gonna to get to my top picks and I do factor budget into them. These are the very cheapest rowers. If you're just on a super low budget, these are the ones I would look at. But I do have a budget one that I actually like and I'll talk about that one later, so stick around. Okay, this video is brought to you by Future. <laughs> I've been using Future for literally over a year, 300 plus workouts and lots of weight lifted. I like it so much, we did a review on it. People were like, ah, Coop, that seems like an ad. It wasn't, but because people accused me of making money off it, I might as well just make some money off it. So that's why we're doing a future ad. But I don't just like it, I've gotten other people on it as well. Nathan, the guy behind the camera, also uses it. I've got my wife using it. Future is awesome. It's a training platform that uses an app that allows you to have a personal coach that is texting me, my guy's name is Morton, and I really like him, shout out Morton. But if you'd like to start using Future for your training, they're offering a discount just for GGR followers at the link below the like button for $19 a month for your very first month. So if you'd like to join me on Future, then hit the link in the bio. Okay, now let's get into some of my top picks. This is undoubtedly the gold standard. This is the Concept 2 Model D rower, or now called the Row Erg. This is the rower you see in every high quality gym. This is the rower you'll find in most garage gyms that actually train and use the rower a lot. This is the rower you'll find in most CrossFit gyms. The reason it's so good is because it's so simple. It just works. 
Like it uses fan blades for resistance and uses damper to either open or close the vent to change the feeling or the amount of air that's being sucked into it. It uses the performance monitor that is connected to the internet. So you can basically track against a leaderboard. They're extremely durable. I mean, these machines are bulletproof. They work so well. And I think are one of the best values in fitness. I mean, they are somewhat pricey when you compare them to like the really cheap magnetic rowers that we just showed, but you can get one shipped to your house for around a thousand bucks, maybe a little bit more. And it's a machine you can literally use for the rest of your life, use it every day and can truly add years to your life and health to the life that you're living. So I, I love the Concept 2 rower, but I would love to see more competition. All right, let's bring out my favorite smart rower. I have two specific smart rowers I'm gonna recommend. A smart rower is using technology combined with a typical rower to basically increase the enjoyment and use of the machine. The first one is Hydro. This is my personal favorite smart rower. This is one of the best rowers outside of C2, just the construction that I've used. One, it's a beautiful device. Two, the magnetic resistance is extremely well done. Three, and I think this is the reason I'd recommend it most, is it uses on row water rowing classes. So the classes that are there, it's somebody literally in a rower on the water with a boat chasing them, GoPros all around. Sometimes they use drones. It's just like a beautiful experience. It literally feels like you're there. It's just so well done. It's a very smooth device. I mean, everything about it, I'm just a big fan. It is pricey when you compare it, over double the price of something like a Concept2, but it does have the technology and I do think it is really good. So if you're looking for my recommendation for a smart rower, this is the one personally that I use the most and this is the one that I'd recommend. But there's others out there. So if Sam, if you wanna bring that one out, this other one that I'd recommend is different in the classes that are used. It's different in the resistance that's there. And this is the Averon rower. And they have a couple different models. This is their Tough Series rower. It's just the more expensive elevated version. I think you're fine with the other one, which I believe is the Impact Series. These are great devices too, but what sets these apart, if I'm just to simplify it, is that this one, the Averon rower, uses games to basically increase your use of it. And they're very fun games. There's not really anything else like it that I can compare to. Ergata does have some gamification, but not to the level of these. Like when you're playing the games, like it literally feels like you're playing a game. They're very well done. The resistance is one of the highest that you can have on a rower that I've used. Depending on where you sit, if you're somebody that doesn't mind working out, enjoys it, and wants that on water experience, Hydro, if you're somebody that wants the gamification and really needs the motivation, Averon is where I'd look. So either of these, I don't think you'll go wrong. That said, if you can get by with it, like you can spend a lot less and go with something like a C2, you're just not gonna have the motivation like you get from these two. So then the next row I wanna recommend is one that does quite a bit of things. So if you're wanting something that can be used for different styles, so you want a rower, but it can also be used as like a skier, like say here, these are two different devices. This is the rower, this is the skier. It'd be nice if they combined them into one, right? And there's some options that are out there. We've reviewed most of them, but there is an option that we've reviewed that's more of a budget-friendly option, but I think is one of the more versatile rowers that are out there. And the rower that's designed to be versatile and portable is Whipper. Now, we've done a full breakdown on this. There's a lot of things I don't like on this. Like, it does not feel as good as a normal rower. I don't think it could with it being this small of a device. But what's really interesting about this is that this can be used, yes, on a rower like this, but it can also be used like a ski erg if you attach it to a door mount. It can also be used like paddle. But in the rowing mode, I don't wanna say it's great, but it, it gets the job done. So this full thing detaches and this rail detaches, it breaks down and you can use it, you know, just like you would a normal rower. So you strap in, and then you can go in and you can change the resistance. It's priced pretty affordable, especially for somebody that's looking for versatility. And especially if you're looking for portability, because there's not another rower that can do and collapse and do all the things that this one can do. For most people, I would recommend my other ones. That's why this one's lower on the list. But if you meet in that criteria where you want something that's portable, can be used for lots of different movements, I think this is one that can work, but for right now, it's a unique option to look at. We did a breakdown comparing 
a Concept 2 rower versus a knockoff Concept 2 rower that Sam had purchased and had brought in and said, Coop, you should look at this. That rower was called Murtazol. There are many different companies that make that rower. It's just like white labeled. It would be my budget pick. I don't think it's as good as a Concept 2 rower. We've seen the durability isn't quite there. Oh, something broke. Well, another piece that broke <laughs> right here. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. <laughs> But for the price, which is, well, you can find it, at least we've seen, for less than half of what the C2 rower, for people that are on a budget but want a rower and want something that should last a decent amount of time, and you can buy parts from Concept2 to use on that rower because they are literally like carbon copies, that's one I would recommend. Lastly, I'm not the only one testing and reviewing equipment, and I'm not the only one giving recommendations. Our editorial team, the ones that test and review equipment and then write on them on the website, they often will say, Coop, you should recommend this one. This is one that we really like and for this purpose. And so I wanted to shout one out. This one specifically is the Proform 750R. I haven't had enough time on this to really recommend or like give you my opinion, but they say they really like it because it's foldable. This one does fold very easily. It's one-handed operation. You grab this guy, shoop, and then it's there. I don't think this is as good, obviously, as a C2 rower for most people, much better option. But if you're looking for an alternative to C2 and you want something that's foldable, our editorial team really likes this one. This has been Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. There's a lot of different rowers we've recommended. Honestly, some of these may be a surprise to you. Others, like the C2, probably not much of a surprise. But if you're looking for a rowing machine and you just want the best option, you want it from somebody who's tested and reviewed and used all of them in-house, these are what I would recommend. Do you agree or disagree? I'd love to hear any options that maybe we missed or maybe options that have come out that for whatever reason we've overlooked. Let us know in the comments. We'll see you next time. Peace.